to work her down, give her a big move, and then instead of going for a pin, get up. Now sell the weapons because I thought she died way too soon. It was like a boot and a clothesline. You should have been more and hitting her face in the mat, like going a little bit more heel right away. But we're going to roll out and then do your show, go out and get the weapons. And you want to fight too much? <laughs> uh, so always when you go outside, what you can do, you can separate them too. Because if you're outside too long, it's like, oh, you can't see, whatever. Go aside, go back in the ring. And that's where you can have a hope spot because you people are one. When you go for a hope spot, you can be like everybody can see the cheer. So you can go back inside, have a hope spot with her, it could be with a woman, whatever. Go out and do two others, two other sides. So everybody has you know, something to do when he's with. Um, the, the German was so sick. It should have been false. See, just before it should have been German. She kicks, she kicks out. She kicks out. You go fucking mad. Then you get the top. Cause that was nasty. That was weird. Oh, better than last time. My girls, my girls. Yeah, cause she, I told her last time she, she was doing Germans, but she was always a little bit on the side. You were only. You looked to the side at the last minute. That's why you can bridge. Because so you went like this, the bridge was perfect, but then you went. Oh. I should have just committed. Yeah. Or if you're not too comfortable, do it. Take a, some sort of bunt and lift your ass after. Okay. All right. You know, that. work it. But your bridge is perfect. If you could just keep it. <coughs> one one uh, advice that's gonna help you. And she's smaller, so with her, it's perfect. Grab her lower. Okay. So she hits first, and your head is not on the ground. Okay. So you use her as a. As yeah, as like leverage. <laughs> You'll have her bomb in your face, but your head will be safe, and she won't have your fucking tailbone. Yeah, if they hit you back, so then I'm gonna fucking murder you. Your forehead, almost here. Because you see, I'll pick you up, and I go up. She's she's gonna hit first. And very important. The shoulders are on the ground. How many freaking Germans you see? Yeah, the shoulders are not on the ground. It looks stupid. Or the referee goes, I'm gonna help you win. You just killed the freaking policy. I'm like, are you coming out with the hand of the And the finish. Um, the ladder was so lovely, and I, I don't do ladders, or I would use them as weapons, but I don't necessarily climb on them because they're the most. I'd rather fall in glass than ladders because they're so unsure they become wobbly, they, they're dangerous, they're like crooked. So when you have something, because you're bigger than her too. So the, when you got up there. That was the way she was set up. It's like, is she gonna do a moonsault? There's not enough room. Like, you, it has to. I should have meaning. Yeah, it should have. Oh, she's gonna hit this. Or if you would, I don't know, you go up, turn around, people are gonna think you're gonna hit a freaking I leg drop. I should have ran up and went for my insecurity. Like, pretended that's what I was fucking doing. Or whatever, you know? Because it looked plain. Because you went so slow and then she got up and then. Yeah. And so wobbly, and it was not wide enough for you to have a nice base and sit correctly on her. And she, she, like, she dropped on her knees because everything was so low, and she could It's not her fault. Everything was so freaking. She couldn't control. And always make sure, especially when you're bigger, that your opponent is safe on their knee and she's stable. Because if she crumbles, you're not necessarily going to get hurt, but she can now fix like her knees or ankle. No, 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 it's no, you, no, you did not. I'm telling you for next time. So anything you want to do that power bounce corner. If place a chair at the bottom. Uh, <coughs> I don't know. Open chairs. Uh, there was tax there. Anything. But make sure there's stability for your pony in the corner. Like you could have placed her down. Like um, what she could have done. Because you, there was the Tom Tax, and she was she actually was not in the. Because if you pull the Tom Tax. You should at least try. Boom. 
pulls you to the corner, hit the corner, come in, give her an elbow, <laughs> go behind. She could have gone for a suplex, turn around, push you to the corner, you stop, boom, second. That way, it would have been like almost, it's out of nowhere. As they say, oh. all the way across. Oh, oh. I, I'm a girl. This is how I attract people. I don't want to look like Frankenstein. Can I ask how you did it? No. <laughs> okay. I, I, Thank you. Thank you. What I yeah, use is like yeah. cat scratches, I would I say. All over the hairline, yeah. small ones. Yeah. That, that way I have a crimson yeah. mask. It looks better and there's no scars. Or barely. Like I've been doing death matches since I was nineteen until I was twenty seven. And I don't have much like scars like everywhere else. Like I mean yeah, but uh face is pretty pretty good. Real quick, can we talk about your cage of death experience? <laughs> yeah. Uh cage of death is that's a funny one because I had a match before the cage of that, which was a three on three with Luke Ox, B Boy, and Adam Flash, and Danny Avic. And um, as soon as I was done with that match, I go backstage and John's editing comes to me. He's like, Are you ready for the next one, kid? I'm like, What? <laughs> The cage match, like what? what? <laughs> the cage of death. You're in the cage of death. You like, were tired. what do you mean? You you're gonna take the mic and you go in there. Back. Okay, so I changed quickly and uh, first thing I know, I was out there with the microphone saying I wanted in, and uh, <laughs> I told him. there was glass, uh, a bed of pencils. What else? Barbed wire, iron, uh, an iron board with. Christmas ornaments on it. That cut. <laughs> um, my God, it was like you didn't know about it until no. your first match was complete. Yeah, that's my cage of death story. <laughs> You're going this guy's beat the shit out of you. I know, but I beat the shit out of them too. <laughs> yeah, so me, Zending Lobo, and Nick Gage of all people in the cage of death. <laughs> She might be small, but Jules Malone, Jules Malone is tough. Uh, that's an IV, she's my trainee. And I but could they get to... punched in the face by Nick Gage? Oh, yeah, I actually broke my hand on Necro's face because I punched him so hard and I broke his bone here. But he's, he was fine and I, no, <laughs> I broke this match. In the match with Necro, there was a spot where he was uh, doing like a, a back breaker but on two open chairs. My back was already pretty much injured because of it had been 10 years I was wrestling already and I think that was like the final nail in the coffin <laughs> and it put me out for about... Give it up for Barbie, you see 